Get your hands off me! Look at what you've done! It's glorious, isn't it? Uh, oh. You're finished, Strange. I have powerful friends, Batman. This is just the beginning. You cannot stop me. Soon I will command forces beyond your comprehension. I have achieved what the great Batman could never do. Gotham will forever thank Hugo. Strange! And this is over, Professor Strange. Why? I did everything you wanted. Indeed. You clearly demonstrated that Batman is better than you. Let him die, Detective. He was your puppet, Raish. Why? You said I could replace you. This was our vision. And you failed to see it through. But... When you came to me with Batman's identity, I gave you this chance to prove your worth, providing you with limitless resources for your plan. You came close, but you have failed me. He's going to die, Rish. He needs medical attention. Now! Do as you wish, Detective. He's already dead to me. I'm so close. Just... Give me more time. Too late. I don't give second chances. This is a good day, Detective. Good? People are dying. The world will not miss them. Why should you? Look at my work. You may have defeated Strange, but this... This is just the beginning. Come with me. We will wipe this world clean. Never. You're wrong, Raish. You've become what you've always fought against. And I will stop you. <laughs> I doubt it. Computer, activate protocol 11. What are you doing? Pass code, Wayne. No! Rachel Ghoul was the power behind Hugo Strange. This whole place was part of his plan. You're kidding. Where is he now? Let's just say he's going to need a trip to a Lazarus pit. Hello? Is anyone there? I'll get back to you. Something's come up. Hello, Batman. I know you can hear me. I'm not caught you at a bad time, have I? I was worried that you may have forgotten about little old me. Take a look at your girlfriend, who, as you can see, is in danger of having a pretty little brain splattered all over this camera. <laughs> Ignore him, beloved. Let him die. Oh, uh, how romantic. Only problem is, I've never felt better. And we both know, you really can't ignore me. So listen, Batman. I'm putting on a little show for you. It's going to be a doozy, a real red carpet affair. You better hurry, though. If you take too long, a leading lady may be found dead in the dressing room. <laughs> Units 
report in. Cease attack and return to base immediately. Repeat, return to base immediately. at the movie theater, and you can't even be bothered turning up! Take your seat, Batman. The show's about to begin. Let's just talk about this. <laughs> now you want to talk. Too late, Batman. Give me the cure. But you've already got the cure. Talia, no!
Problem solved. You didn't need to... Why? You would never do it. You left me no choice. There's always a choice. I had to save you. Harley Quinn stole it for him. I took it back. It's over. Surprise! <laughs> oh, Mr. J, you look perfect. Ring, ring. So how do you keep a secret from the world's greatest detective? Well, do you know? You stick it right in front of him, right under his long, pointy nose. And wait. Joker wants you to think he's sick. Well, gotcha. You fell for the old fake Joker gag, Batman. Tell you. Oh. I'm sorry, beloved. I didn't know. <laughs> Encore. More. Bravo. <laughs> it was never you. <laughs> Not always. Well, sometimes. <laughs> uh, confusing, isn't it? I know I'd want to know just what the hell is going on if I were you. <laughs> Let's just say, at times like these, it's important to keep up <coughs> appearances. But first, if you would be so kind, hand over my jaw. Are you supposed to be playing with knives? What the hell are you doing, Doc? 